Hello and welcome to the video for how do I size things in UMG. I've gone ahead and created a blank user interface widget which comes by default with a canvas panel. Sizing in UMG is in a parent to child relationship system. Children will get how they can size themselves based on their parent unless they have an override inside of them but even then the parent will override that. So let's say, for example, we put an image on our canvas panel. We want our image to be 300 by 300. Well, the only reason we can do this is our canvas panel tells our child it can set its size. The actual image itself, as you can see, is set to 32 by 32. Let's make it 50 by 50 to make things easier. But you notice it still doesn't change. Well, that's because the parent has overridden, overridden and has control of the image itself. If we change it to size to content, you'll notice it'll change to 50 by 50 or 100 by 100 because the child now has control. The canvas panel allows you to have exact size and is very handy if you need that. Other widgets do not allow that. We have our border, for example, which we will change to be transparent so we can see what's behind it, for example. Now if we go ahead and put a progress bar behind our border, you'll notice it's going to take up the entire space because we are using alignment and padding in order to determine the size of the content of the child. If we were to change this to centered, you'll notice it is now very, very small because the actual progress bar itself takes up a very amount of very small amount of space naturally. So the border, for example, since we can exact position it, we can use the border to position the child inside. And the progress bar has either left align, right align, middle aligns, or fill. Now, let's say, for example, we have a vertical box. A vertical box will follow pretty much the exact same things. We're going to go ahead and put two images and a progress bar in this. The vertical box has exact positioning because its parent, we'll go ahead and delete the others to make it simpler. The parent of the vertical box is the canvas panel. The canvas panel gives the vertical box the exact positioning. So that is why we can do that. The children inside of the vertical box do not have that option. They simply have padding alignment once again where you can see for example if we change the alignment to center or left or right or fill it's changing and then they also have the size which determines if they should take up the exact amount of space needed for example we want this one to be 100 high now it will be 100 high or fill which means it will fill up as much space as remaining if we go ahead and change all three of these to fill you'll notice that they each take an equal percentage but we want our progress bar itself to be different. We want it to be smaller and maybe centered. Well, if we change it to centered, it still takes up its one third because that's how much we've told it to take up. But the actual progress bar, bar itself is tiny. The progress bar itself does not have a size override. It has no inherent size value. Well, that is what a size box is for. We can right click the progress bar, wrap it, with a size box, now the progress bar itself looks the same, but the size box has parameters we can now override. If we go ahead and do a width and a height override and set it to 300 by 50, we now have a progress bar that is centered or wrapped or however we want it, but we're going to go ahead and center this size box with a size of 300 by 50 inside of our one-third size vertical box. So that is something handy to keep in mind. The important thing to remember when you are working with positioning in UMG is it is a child-to-parent relationship. The parent control determines what the child is allowed to do in terms of sizing whether it is absolute sizing using a size box or a canvas panel or relative sizing using other controls such as maybe the text on a button or the contents of a vertical box where you, you, where you are using alignment and padding. 